What's up out there, YouTube? My name is Jesse, and I am back for another Golden Age video. This time, I'm going to be covering some Golden Age heroes that appeared in Fawcett Comics. And Fawcett Comics is a part of DC. If you... I explained that if you had seen the... Let's see, top 10 DC characters who did not appear in DC Comics. Yes, these characters are from Fawcett Comics, which is part of the DC Universe now, and before the New 52, they, they came from Earth-S. So, I am going to be covering a number of heroes that came out of the publication WOW Comics. So, let's start off with our first spotlight. The first spotlight we are doing is the man who appeared on the cover of the first issue, Mr. Scarlet. Mr. Scarlet, Brian Butler, first appeared in WOW Comics number one in 1940. He was created by France Heron and Jack Kirby. He was published under Fawcett Publications. Brian Butler was a district attorney and was frustrated by the amount of criminals that were being released back on the street. So at night, he became the costume vigilante, Mr. Scarlet. Unfortunately, he was so successful at putting criminals away, he put himself out of a job. So in the daytime, he looked for odd jobs to support himself, and at night, he was the crime fighter, Mr. Scarlet, sometimes known as the Red Knight of Justice. In his fight against crime, he was assisted by his secretary, Miss Cherry Wade, and he had a young sidekick named Pinky. Mr. Scarlet had just one superpower. He could fly. He sometimes used a ray gun that he carried with him, but he usually relied on his fighting skills. Some of his villains include the Death Battalion, the Boss, Mr. Hyde, and Spirit Murder. And this was just a few of the villains that he fought. Now, I did mention his sidekick, Pinky, so I'll go ahead and cover him on this spotlight as well. Pinky, Pinky Butler, first appeared in WoW Comics number 4 in 1941. Pinky had lost his father when he was very young and was raised by his mother. His mother used to read him stories about heroes who would battle monsters and inspired Pinky to want to do so one day. After his mother was killed by Mr. Hyde, he went to an orphanage that was run by Dr. Jekyll. Pinky had done some investigating and found out that Dr. Jekyll was Mr. Hyde. Um, he had a costume made that was looked very much like Mr. Scarlet's costume, which he soon met the hero. Now, he and Mr. Scarlet would take down Mr. Hyde, and then Mr. Scarlet decided to adopt Pinky as his ward, much like with the dynamic duo. Pinky does not have any superhuman abilities, but he's an excellent fighter, a good acrobat, and a very smart detective. He sometimes uses gadgets in his fight against crime, and he was trained in fighting by Mr. Scarlet himself. Another person we are spotlighting in this video, Adam Blake. Adam Blake, which is his real name, first appeared in WoW Comics number 1 in 1940. Published by Fawcett Publications, he was created by Pierce Wright. Adam was a scientific genius who, thanks to his parents' experiments, possessed a number of fantastic abilities. He was raised by his aunt and uncle and then soon realized that he was unlike other children. He discovered a message that was left from his father explaining how his father and mother were both scientists. His parents had created a metal 
in which they used all the known elements together to create this metal and it would give off a certain type of energy. Too much exposure to the energy at one time could kill someone so they slowly introduced the energy to their son, Adam Blake, over a period of time. The rays that he was subjected to gave him super strength and vulnerability and superhuman stamina. Nothing is known to what happened to Adam's parents, but he also found out that they left him a magical ring that could make all of his wishes come true, and he decided to use his powers to fight crime. The last hero that we'll cover in here was Diamond Jack. He did appear in WoW Comics number one, but he first appeared in Slam Bang Comics number one in 1940. His real name is Jack. He was created by Gus Ricca, and he is made by Fawcett Publications. Diamond Jack's last name was never revealed, but he was given a ring that had a magic diamond inside of it that an old magician had given to him. He would later find that the magic diamond was actually the lost jewel eye of a god from a temple in the Far East. He used the power of this ring to fight crime. Uh, Many of the abilities of the ring allowed him to create whatever he could imagine and would also give him the ability to transmute objects. He also had super strength and vulnerability, super senses, the ability to heal others, limited flight, and (laughs) a few plot convenience ab- convenient abilities <laughs> I love that well I hope you did enjoy this golden age spotlight video I actually thought that this one was rather interesting uh, Fawcett Publications published this one right here uh, Wiz Comic which Captain Marvel appeared in which is all DC property now I hope that you like this trip through the world of what Fawcett Publications could have been. If you did like this video, please give that like button a click. If you like what I do here and you want to see more videos, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, hopefully, I can have another Golden Age video before I come out with my next top 10 video. So, until then, I'll see you.